Hi team, this is Chris Abram from Go Math. Today I'm going to be working on number 26 on the 53 Math MTEL. It's a great problem to review uh, statistics and data analysis concepts involving mean, median, mode, and range. So let's look at number 26. It says, use the information below to answer the question that follows. It gives us a box with numbers, data points. And then it says, the numbers in the box represent the melting points in degrees Celsius for four chemical compounds, which the following statistics will be most affected by including a compound with a melting point of 13 degrees Celsius in the list. And it gives us these answer choices. What will be most affected? The median, the mode, the mean, or the range? Read it over one more time to yourself. Sometimes you have to take a moment, pause the video, think about the scenario that they give. The math is always going to be the same. M median, mode, mean, range. You've seen the, that in many different types of problems. It's the scenario that's a little tricky. In this scenario, we're talking about different compounds. And we're looking at the melting points. For example, let's say chocolate. Chocolate's going to be melting at uh, 67 degrees Celsius, which actually uh, is not accurate because that would be really hot. 67 degrees Celsius is extremely hot. Um, but you ha you'll have different substances, different materials that melt at hot temperatures, and you have other substances that, um, that melt at very, very cold temperatures. These would be like gases, all right? These negative ones are like gases. They melt at really cold temperatures, and at room temperature, they sort of evaporate into a gas. Okay, that's the scenario part of the question. <laughs> now we got to get to the math part, which is looking at how if we add in a 13, a positive 13 to the data set, how does it change the median, mode, mean, and range of this data set? So I'll start, I'll start by writing it out, listing the data points from least to greatest. And I want you to take note, um, I'm going to round these numbers to make my life easier like this first one, negative 120 degrees Celsius, I'm just going to round to 120. And this one right here, this will be negative uh, 13. Uh, now I have a, a 6, positive 6. That 13, we're going to leave that 13 above here, not include it in the first set. And then the last one um, is going to be uh, a, a 70. Let's round it to 70, make our lives easier. Think about the median for a moment. What is median? Remember, median is the middle number. And if we're just looking at this first data point without the 13, the middle number, I'd cross out the first and the last, and I'd get to the middle two. I'd add the middle two and then divide by two to get the uh, median, the middle number. Well, negative 13 plus 6, it's a little tricky. Sometimes you have to play a little game with yourself and just flip it, make it a 13 and a positive 6, um, a negative 6. And then when you subtract these out and you, you get an answer of positive 7, then you got to go back and flip these. And you're actually the sum of negative 13 and positive 6 is actually negative 7. If you divide negative 7 by 2, you get negative 3.5, which we could approximate to negative 4. Now, what am I doing here? I'm doing the calculations out, and I'm also approximating values and using strategies in my values uh, in my calculations to help me, which is something that you should do. Why? Because you have to find a way to be able to subtract numbers, and maybe you're a little bit unfamiliar with this. You've got to find a way that works for you. And why would you leave it at negative 3.5 when you can just approximate into something a little bit more tangible? Remember, you don't have a lot of time. So make it a little easier for yourself. Okay, in this case, the median for the first data set is approximately, approximately equal to negative 4. Now, let's add in that next number, the 13. Well, the first and last remain the same. The negative 13 crosses out with the new number, 13, and our middle number becomes 6. So in this case right here, if we're looking at a, a, a something that would really affect the data set, well, just adding in a 13 could really affect the given data set. In fact, A is the correct answer. 
All right, very quickly, these other options here. The mode is a number that appears the most. In the data set, there's no number that repeats. It's not like we have four negative 13s. So the, the mode, the number that repeats, uh, there is no number that repeats, so it's not affected in either of the data sets. I cross it out. The range. The range is comparing the smallest value, uh, looking at the, the space between the smallest value and the largest value. Here, it doesn't change by adding the 13. You could cross that out. And the mean, <laughs> the mean does change. However, <clears throat> when you add up all these points here and you divide by 4, by the way, if you added up all these with the approximation right now, you get something like negative uh, 57. And you get, an, uh, you get an answer that's approximately negative 16 as an average. Because remember, you, you're adding up the total, dividing by the number in your data set to get the average. Approximately negative 16. If you were to add in the 13, yes, it would change the average, but it would be, it'd be closer to an approximation of, let's say, negative 13. That's just a rough negative 13, negative 14. So look, yes, it does change, but in the given scenario, not by a whole lot. The mean, the average temperature wouldn't really change by a, a huge amount, which is why we're going to go with answer, we're going to stick with answer choice A. Okay, team, I hope I got this video down under 10 minutes, and I hope you found it helpful. Go back, do it all out, Try a strategy where you can uh, round the numbers when you work out these calculations. Yes, you're going to have to get your hands dirty and do the calculations out. Yes, I want you to find the mean of, the, of both data sets just to get the practice. All right, but the answer here is A. All right, have a great day, team. Bye-bye. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall, we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.